Hello there, this is Dave Allen once again and we're going to have another look at Sketchbook for drawing on Android. Let's click on this here for the preferences and we'll go into this here and there's a few things that you can do. So we've got uh, symmetry in there available, we've got smooth brushes, we've got a back button for undo and that's a radial menu. That's how you get the radial menu by pressing this one here. We've also got to remember colours on radial menu too. And we've got tap and hold for colour picker. So let's put that on as well. Okay, so let's go back into our drawing again and go to our radial thing again. Look, and so I've got some colours down the side here which I can choose. Let's go back into a pencil again, and as soon as I start, I can start drawing with it. And it doesn't look very pencil like that, does it? So I think I have to go back in this one here. In fact, that's still set to airbrush. I don't know why that didn't change to pencil, but let's see. So let's go back to this, change the pencil on this one here. And there's our pencil. You see we get a bit of a jaggy sort of line there with pencil. If I can zoom right in there, I can see it a bit better. And uh, perhaps it's a bit of a scratchy sort of pencil. Let's go back out of this here. I can change the radius on the pencil again. And again, it's looking a bit scratchy, isn't it? So let's see if we can uh, change that to make it a bit better. Go to this one here. And we'll go to... We've got spacings on there. We don't want any spacing. Let's get rid of the spacings. And we'll get rid of the rotation on there as well, the noise. Let's try again. So do there you go. We've got a much smoother line there now, look. So that's quite neat. And even if I'm going quite fast with my finger on this screen here, it's, it keeps up fairly well with the actual finger when it's it's not doesn't lag too behind too much. Another thing that's going to be really good with this application if you're doing some drawing is to use layers. So let's put a new layer on there. And you can move layers and put it underneath, for instance. And then if I'm doing some drawing on that layer now, it's going to go underneath what we got there. So let's just go back into this and change the brushes again. Let's go to this one here. And we'll go to the end to get one of these brushes here, look. And I'm going to change the colour as well. So let's change that colour to a nice sort of yellowy colour. Now if I draw with this one here now, it's going to go behind the colours that I've already put on there. So that's uh, quite handy. So you can have layers and have a lot of control over your drawing which is really good. We've got some extra tools here. We can go for some symmetry, so either horizontal or vertical symmetry. Let's go for the horizontal one there. So let's uh, zoom out of that first of all. So let's bring it up so that we can see it better on the screen and do some symmetrical type drawings. So anything I put over here you see it's drawing over, over on the left hand side as well. Let's change the pencil on there so we can see that a little bit better. We'll go for this one here, which is a straightforward round dot. And I'm going to change colour again as well. So let's change it to a blue. And now I can see that if I do some drawings over there. It's coming up over on the left hand side as well. So that's really handy if you're going to do some sort of drawing which needs to be symmetrical. And as I say, I can change the symmetrical drawing. So if I want to have it so it's vertical symmetrical, I can do that. So now I'm drawing at the bottom and it's coming up on the top of the screen as well. Let's go back into this one here. Let's see what other brushes we've got. We've got some various sorts of uh, HBs. We've even got this one here. We can draw in a sort of uh, a dotted sort of uh, pattern there. So let's do that. A dotted pattern. Let's turn off the symmetry. We can also do ovals. So let's draw an oval in here. So let's uh, find a space where I can uh, see what's going on a bit better. I'm just using two fingers to move the screen across so I can see a bit better. And I'm going to draw an oval. So there's my oval look. And that will draw with the pattern or the brush that I've actually got chosen. So let's choose a different brush once more. And we've got a few sort of patterns there, like leaves for instance. And we'll change this radius size of the leaves to make it smaller. And we'll change the opacity on that as well. So bring it down, bring it back up again. And go to the settings for that. So we've got a minimum and maximum there, so that changes a few sizes of the leaves there. And then on the opacity, actually that's doing the opacity on that one there, so let's bring that down a bit. So uh, let's change this one here. So the radius gives us different sizes of the leaf there. Let's bring that back right down. And that might change the maximum size of it as well. So we've got spacing, we can have less spacing on there as well. So again, once again, let's do a uh, circle. We're going to have a circle of leaves. How about that then? Nice. Let's go into our other brushes and see what else we've got there. So we've got uh, some other leaves there. And we've got some straight sort of patterns there. Let's see what this one does. 
Oh, there's a weird looking brush, isn't that? Let's see. We've got a circle thing going still. Let's turn the circle off and move over to a different spot. And there you see we've got this one here, look. So there you go. Lots of different pants you can put in there. I don't know if it's possible to make your own brushes, but it'd be nice if you could. I'll look into that with a future video. Well, there you go. That's the second part of our tutorial, looking at Sketchbook by Autodesk for Android. And it's a great little app for artists who want to draw on their Android devices. So hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.